Today we will be discussing 10 autoimmune diseases that affect the hair. In each of these autoimmune diseases, the immune system's attack on the body's own tissues can disrupt normal hair growth cycles, leading to various patterns of hair loss, thinning, or changes in texture. Treatment approaches may vary depending on the specific condition and its severity, and it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and management. Dermatomyositis is an inflammatory disease that affects the skin and muscles. Hair loss, particularly at the edges of the scalp, and changes in texture can occur as a result of inflammation in the hair follicles. Addison's disease affects the adrenal glands, leading to insufficient production of cortisol and sometimes aldosterone. Hair loss, thinning, and changes in texture can occur as symptoms of this condition. Pernicious anemia is caused by a deficiency of vitamin B12, often due to autoimmune destruction of cells in the stomach that produce intrinsic factor. Hair loss and changes in texture can occur due to the nutrient deficiency. Vitiligo causes the loss of skin pigment cells, resulting in patches of lighter skin. While it primarily affects the skin, it can also lead to changes in hair color and texture in the affected areas. Sjogren's syndrome, this autoimmune disorder primarily affects the moisture-producing glands of the body, leading to dryness in various areas, including the scalp. Dryness can contribute to hair loss and changes in texture. Hashimoto's thyroiditis, this autoimmune disorder targets the thyroid gland, leading to hypothyroidism. Hair loss, thinning, and changes in texture can occur as a result of the thyroid hormone imbalance. Graves' disease is another autoimmune condition affecting the thyroid gland, but it leads to hyperthyroidism. Hair loss and changes in texture can occur due to the overproduction of thyroid hormones. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that can affect various parts of the body, including the skin and hair. Hair loss can occur in patches or more diffusely, and it may be temporary or permanent. Alopecia universalis, similar to alopecia areata, but more severe, alopecia universalis results in complete hair loss on the scalp and body, including eyebrows and eyelashes. Alopecia areata, this condition causes hair loss in small, round patches on the scalp, but it can also affect other areas of the body. It occurs when the immune system mistakenly attacks the hair follicles, leading to hair loss. Medical treatment, in cases of autoimmune disorders or other conditions where the immune system is overactive or dysfunctional, medical treatment may be necessary to regulate the immune response. This can include immunosuppressive medications, corticosteroids, biologic therapies, and other treatments prescribed by healthcare professionals. Thanks for watching.